Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about improving energy. Hello again, everyone. So in today's topic, we're talking about improving energy. And it is a topic that was brought up by a member uh, in the Facebook some time ago. As mentioned before, I'm going through the list of topics that I can handle from Facebook that some of the members inside there has contributed or asked about when I was asking for some topic for YouTube videos. And this was one of the topics that was requested. Now, with energy, I kind of thought about it and I'm going to split it into two different types of energy that I will be talking about. So the first type is the environmental and then the second type is personal. So with personal energy, I am defining personal energy as mental, physical and emotional. Okay with regards to your own personal self or my personal self. So that is what I take personal energy to mean. Now with environmental energy is more about your energy as a reflection of the environment that you are in. For example, like if the environment that you're in is making you feel lethargic, lazy, or just plain tired, you know, so that is what I would define environmental energy as. Not whether it has enough light or enough fire energy and whatever. Well, kind of in a way. So we will be talking about that in a little bit. Okay. So now with environmental energy, this would have to do with the area that you live in, your, the immediate area that you live in, the, your living space in particular, um, your bedroom, your living room, your house, your apartment, you know, when you first come home, how that is going to make you feel. So that is how environmental energy helps you. And if you haven't caught on already, I'm already alluding to the fact that a lot of this is personal perception. So your perception of the environment triggers the way you feel. Okay, you could feel tired, you could feel drained, you could just feel depressed just because of the environment that you live in. Now, I've touched a lot about this envir so-called environmental energy in a previous video called Feng Shui. Okay, so in there, I had a video that was talking about decluttering your living space. So decluttering your living space just basically means that making sure that the space that you live in has enough areas for you to walk through your living space meaning that you can walk you do see a clear and unobstructed path from the moment you walk into your main you walk into your main front door to wherever you need to go so if it is in some ways obstructed like you know, you have to avoid a toy that's in the way or a plant that's in the way. In some ways, it is necessary if you're talking about feng shui. And in some ways, it is not okay if it's like you live in a really, really cluttered area where everything is just in the way of you walking and you have to avoid obstacles or climb over obstacles in such a way that it makes just getting from one area of your living space to another just plain difficult, then yes, it is about time for you to start cleaning up 
your living area where you can move about freely. I would say the rule of thumb here is that the place where you live in must have enough areas for you, the butterflies, and the and, and the air that you breathe to move about freely. Which means the place where you live in should have at least a some flow of fresh air coming and going out so that it doesn't feel how do I say stagnant or smell stagnant in that sense now I well I understand that not everybody lives in a tropical area like me where it's like you know in the 30s and 28s whole year round and some of you may be living in countries where it's almost freezing nine nine months out uh, 12 months of the year uh, case in point sometimes when i was living in seattle washington i do experience that kind of weather although not all the time but usually you know it's like winter and spring temperatures all the way up to around june or july and even then sometimes summer only lasts like two months in my experience there okay and then when and then it starts getting colder again but to be honest i give anything i give almost anything to be living in that kind of a climate right now because I don't really like the heat wave of the tropics. In any case, back to our topic, making sure that your living space is uncluttered and having clear paths to everywhere that you need to go. Okay, so the other thing that you can do to improve your environmental energy is the decorations in your living space your color schemes, scents, and sound in your living space. Now, if you stay until the end of this video, I'll give you one tip that you can use immediately right after watching this video. Okay? So, let's first talk about the decorations in your living space. You want decorations that are uncluttered. You want decorations that you feel inspired, you feel rested, or you feel happy when you see them. So remember I mentioned that a lot of your energy level that is affected by the living space comes from your perception. So everything that you see in your living environment should trigger thoughts of inspiration, improving your mood, happiness, or even triggering a sense of calmness about you. Okay, that will lead to improving your moods. Now, as far as colors go, we... I, I actually made a video about this color theory, newer color, newer art color theory, um, go watch it because I think a lot of how colors are going to affect your perception in your living space has already been talked about in that video. Okay, most of what I, in a nutshell, what I can say is that yes, colors do trigger you psychologically. Uh, those people who suffer from PTSD or some kind of trauma-related PTSD, some colors will trigger them in addition to words, feelings, or being put in situations, or even sounds for that matter. Okay? So, you would want to consider the kind of colors that 
you are putting around you, which also goes with decorations, I suppose. So colors are important to our perception from that perspective. And if you, you haven't already got it, I've been harping on this since like my very first few videos that perception is everything. So if there's one thing that you should take away after watching this video or listening to this video is that perception to a human is everything. Perception triggers feelings and emotions and that's why trauma-related PTSD exists, okay? And perception also triggers, can also trigger feelings of calmness in you. That's why we have like really neutral color palettes like light beige, white makes tends to make you feel calmer and that's why psychologically there are some research that says the fresh fresh light green color actually helps you feel more fresh and relaxed and that's why for a lot of marketing a lot of the packages that you see in the groceries or in other places where they want to invoke a feeling of freshness or you know being green so to say they are all in green color all right because green does have psychological effect personally okay not me personally but for everyone and there's a lot of psychological effect to it effects of green color versus red color okay so which i will not get into it today because i want to keep this video kind of short all right next we have scents now with scents we're talking more a bit about aromatherapy there are scents or aroma that will invoke feelings of calmness I cannot think of any right off the top of my head, but I'm sure some googling on your part will probably bring up the kind of scents that you can buy or get from somewhere that will help you achieve calmness. Okay, so obviously there are artificial scents and there are natural scents whenever possible. Natural scents or essential oil should be your primary choice. Now funny as it seems at you know your nose or your oral factory is able to differentiate between natural scents and artificial scents okay it's kind of weird but it's true because you can tell whether something's natural or something is artificial granted artificial scents do last quite a bit longer than natural scents and all natural scents and all essential oils has an expiration date on it. You don't know what expiration date it is unless it's stated. And sometimes it can spoil faster than the expiration date, especially essential oils. Essential oils at the most last about one year as the peak effectiveness. And then after that, the scent drops off uh, or it can become rancid and you can tell when, when it smells off that's when it's gotten rancid okay and if you are using essential oil keep it away from the sunlight or any light source because that's how they spoil faster okay so i would leave the aroma and scents part to your own personal research if you want to introduce that into your living space to improve your energy levels. Next, on the last thing that I was going to talk about is the sounds in your living space. All right, so there are sounds that will invoke the feeling of calmness, and there are also sounds that can invoke vomiting. Uh, there's been some recent research about that. I will let you, I will let you 
go on the internet machine to find out what are those sounds. I'm not going to cover that here. And as such, some sounds can be generated electronically as well as mechanically. And the mechanical sounds are wind chimes probably are the most common. And I remember about 20 plus years ago when I was in Seattle, living I was when I was living in Seattle, they used to sell these wind chimes that has a really nice sound to it, really fresh, clean sound. I don't know if they're still available anymore. And they also sell this uh, rods that you can hit with a stick, like a xylophone, and it produces this really, really clean sound. Now, apart from that, there's also the singing bowls that you can get. You know, the crystal singing bowls and the Tibetan metal singing bowls. All right, so I would say, from my personal opinion, those are more of an acquired sense of how they would improve. I would say they are more of an acquired sense, like if they're actually going to improve your mood or actually make you feel even worse. So I'll leave that up to you to do your own research personally and testing. Okay. But as promised, if you stay this long in the video, I was going to show you one thing that will improve your mood or the, the energy levels in your area right from the moment when you find this link, okay? But before going to that, I wanted to briefly talk about something about colors and decoration. I was going to say that in Feng Shui, there is this thing called using lights to improve the energy level in your living space. And that's using like either a sun catcher or a disco ball. Okay, the disco ball is one of those balls that has a lot of mirrors on it. And when the light hits it, it turns and rotates and it, and it has all, it reflects all these lights on the wall, little bits of lights that move with the rotation of the ball. Now, Feng Shui principle says that because the lights are moving and it is light, so it will improve the yang energy in your living area, which is a good thing if you need some energy. Okay, so I won't go much into that, but I was just going to leave this tip out there. And now for the sound, sound file or sound video that you can find on the internet, on YouTube especially. And you can save that video on your own personal phone or something and play that over some decent speakers. Doesn't have to be really expensive hi-fi speakers. Something decent that are external speakers not from your phone speakers, okay? I, I have verified that. So this is called the Schumann Frequency video. I will show a picture of that up here of which file it is. Now, if you let this play on loop for about 10 to, 10 to 20 minutes, you should notice start noticing a little improvement in the energy level of your room. So what this does is it is supposed to help clear negative energy out of your living space and make it feel lighter. So every time I play this file inside my room, I do feel like the area inside my room, the area inside my room just feel quite a bit lighter okay so this is the tip that i was going to give you towards the end of this video so i hope you can make use of this tip and 
have and feel great after doing it okay now there's no drawing in this video we're not going to do any drawing of any sort not for this video but in the next video i'm going to show you some other stuff that you can do to help improve your energy okay so improving energy is a really big topic so i've split this topic up into several videos as of now I have about six videos planned for this topic so I hope you all enjoy it and this is it for this video and I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye!